I get frustrated with like if I ever like if I go to comment something and someone's just been a twat about commenting, it really winds me up. Like and not in a way that I'll react, in a way that I'll just be like, Well this is stupid. I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna think this is good. But then I should tell people it's good, or if it's bad, maybe I should tell them. They probably should be told. I mean people probably should be told if things are bad, like I mean, don't that's rubbish and that'll be nice and then we won't get like weird like X Factor kind of like contestants that think they've been brilliant forever because no one's ever been like oh I love you man but you're, you're rubbish at singing but then you know you've got that oh, haters gonna hate and then they're all like mm, just ignore haters no heed haters heed haters because they're not all just jealous that's unreasonable some of them have got a point welcome back to what is a youtuber going off on a bit of a tangent and although it wasn't entirely relevant to this video I thought it was interesting and important so I put it at the start so yep but there's no rules it's the final episode and this week we're actually looking at youtuber what does youtuber mean to us not necessarily in terms of definition what does it mean personally so personally I would say a youtuber is somebody who can make a career out of being on YouTube. A YouTuber to me is someone who's really curious and who has made a life out of broadcasting. I kind of said it sort of is like a really like one way street. A YouTuber for me used to mean that it was a person who vlogged. It was a person who made covers of music. It was a person who made sketches. It was a person who did beauty blogs and tips and tutorials. When people say, oh, this person's a YouTuber, they're referring to somebody who has a certain amount of subscribers and can make a living off making video. It's like the beginning of the 20th century with um, the birth of filmmaking. A lot of people just went with the cameras and filmed the world for the first time. I like that it is still fascinating and we still do that in excess. You're actually doing something that that captures your life in a way that pictures probably can. I don't think the hierarchy of having more subscribers really affects if you're a YouTuber or not. Because of their, their phone doesn't have a camera and they use their phone to watch videos and comment and that's just that's their best access and uh, so they're a commenter but they they react and are reacted to uh, in the tubes um, by their comments makes them a youtuber primarily making videos i think is how i would define a youtuber or not define a youtuber but that's what it means to me for me youtuber means someone that is part of the youtube community that it is someone that is a content creator, not just a passive observer. A YouTuber is someone who makes videos for YouTube and enjoys watching videos on YouTube. But this made me think about it differently because uh, people look at it in not a massively selfish way, which originally I did. It means my full and expanded world. It means my unforeseen friendships and accomplishments. It means ambition and creativity and fun, like, it's important to me. I think it just means that you use YouTube and you put videos up and comment, contribute, do your thing, to get involved. The word YouTuber is kind of a form of identity. To me it describes someone who uses YouTube as a platform to express their ideas or their talent. I don't know, I'd kind of say that I was a YouTuber. This has just crossed my mind, like, I kind of want to change my definition for the first one, just because I think somebody who is a YouTuber, yes, like, in our case, so, so like the definition is somebody who's like to make money, and like that's kind of where it's used most, but I think I would also class it as somebody who knows and uses YouTube, purely because we've had to explain Miranda sings to people. I also have to admit that I consider most of the 
term YouTuber to be the smaller YouTubers, the people under 100,000 subscribers, the people that made YouTube great. It means a lot more now after this series, this little thing. It's been great actually, and I've really started to look at it in a new way. I've overlooked the kind of beauty of this um, and how it can be like a really nice, like, social thing rather than just a look at my stuff, look at me, love me. Given that it's the end of the series, but the internet will still keep going and social media is still gonna go on and YouTuber is still gonna be a thing, where do we think it's going? What is next for the YouTubers? I mean, the better YouTube is controlled, the more money it'll make. And so, um, the future YouTuber will be trend spotter, spot a guy or a girl doing something funny. They mention it on public television or on their uh, uh, their radio show or on their podcast, and then that person uh, makes a whole lot of money on their channel, and a lot of advertisers make money, and YouTube makes money, and it's all it's all organized and orchestrated. Well, the only people I really hear about are the really popular ones. So I'm not sure how it's progressing. I don't know. I don't know how it can, can how it can progress any more than it is. I'm thinking the idea of being a YouTuber is becoming a lot more professional than it was. It's a job for a lot of people, and a lot of people rely on the money they make from their videos for, for a job. Well, if anything, it's being more and more manufactured. There are channels that are partnered. Uh, some working with companies. There's a message to sell. There's an idea that is being commercialized and that's a fact. The term is kind of starting to mean this person who's, whose job it is to make videos. Um, more and more people like you can see in comments on YouTube people saying oh I want to be a YouTuber, I want to be there, like a YouTuber, come and help me be a YouTuber. Well, you already are a YouTuber. We helped to establish that YouTube was the place to come to view, to view videos and we helped create that and big content finally noticed and as soon as big content got involved we were ignored those of us that aren't going to go big time it's going to be a little bit more of a subculture you know rather than the the, the big gleaming tower the metropolis of, of uh, YouTube one of the shining towers of Twitter uh, it'll be more like uh, YouTube the city or YouTube the village or uh, YouTube uh, the hermit camp. YouTube even took away their slogan, broadcast yourself, because it's no longer just kids in their bedroom talking to their cameras. I think the term YouTuber kind of is now associated with people who identify as entrepreneurs almost, as people who are trying to put themselves out there and are trying to make their way into the big leagues, so to speak. But on the other hand, there are a lot of discussion and the community side of it is growing. I can't say stronger because we have like this sense of it not being like it used to be. But in the meantime, what are we doing right now? We're, we're doing what 2006 YouTube was all about. People are really passionate about it and I love that passion and I think it's really nice. Um, and I want to capture it in some way, but I can't because I don't spend enough time what, like, interacting on YouTube. Um, but this has made me want to. And there are people like myself who are just in it for the fun, but I don't think it's really recognised. I think people just hear the term YouTuber and just say, oh, you're trying to become famous by making videos online, okay. It takes passion to keep creating content to maybe get yourself discovered. Being a YouTuber in the next five to maybe 10 years, I feel it's gonna be... I mean, I can't imagine it, to be honest with you, because people are just so creative that you you can't, you can't foresee that, otherwise you would have done it already. It's the internet and things change and things happen rapidly and we can't predict where it's gonna go, so I'm excited to see where it goes, but I'm not gonna make any prediction. Like, this, this whole thing has potential to go anywhere, really. I know we've talked about corporate this and corporate that and complained about community this and community that, but like I still believe that we can pretty much do anything. That's that's the appeal here, is we can work with it and do whatever we want. Now I guess it's time for that final big question. The one that it's all been leading up to. Are you a YouTuber? A YouTuber? to me, isn't me. 
I don't think I am. I just make videos and help people out on projects and music and things. At the beginning I was classing myself as a YouTuber and now I'm sort of drifting away from the label. There's a, a field of YouTubers and there's another field of people that use YouTube but are not YouTubers. They are people like who are like kind of not really properly engaging, subscribing not just to people but the whole idea of YouTube. Question of my life really, I don't know. In essence, I am a YouTuber. That could be more of a YouTuber. It's almost like an in-joke, people on YouTube. Somebody gets that reference, like you can say, oh yeah, you're a YouTuber too. Like, you understand the YouTube jokes. You are tubing the yous. Do you kind of get what I mean? I would consider myself a YouTuber because I involve myself in the site quite a lot. And I enjoy watching and making videos. And I think that's quite important. I don't know whether other people would consider me a YouTuber. I need you to tell me if I'm a YouTuber. Yes. What? In the strictly technical sense. Yes. <laughs> but you don't know how to pause videos, Hannah. Do you make money on YouTube? No. Then you're not a YouTuber. Then I'm not a YouTuber? <laughs> not yet. What? That's a YouTuber. She's still a YouTuber. No. No. Oh, no, I'm not a YouTuber. That's why I am a YouTuber. Yes, I believe wholeheartedly that I am. I don't create content as much as I would like to and at the caliber that I wish I could come up with given the time that I am allowed. But in my head, I'm doing great things. And hopefully within the next few months and to the next couple of years, I'll be able to realize all of that. I am a YouTuber. I feel that I am a contributor I am a content creator. I am someone that interacts, that discusses things online. And in my particular style of video and such, a lot of the time I fight the good fight. I am a YouTuber. I, Earl of Portland, am a YouTuber. I could prove it. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Uh, I'll give you a few more takes. We're probably going to do something cute with that. Thank you to everyone who's been involved in this project in any way, shape or form, whether it's contributing, commenting or just watching and sharing and particularly those people who've shared. I've liked you a lot, thank you. Just because it's the end of the series doesn't mean that this is the end of the conversation. The Tumblr is still going to be going, it's lampshade.tumblr.com and as always I've set a video challenge this week. I want you to make a video on your own channel showcasing, talking about, sharing your love for your favourite YouTuber of the moment. So if you make one of those and leave it in the comments below in a link form or just say that you've made one and people can go and check it out, that would be really great. And if you're not into video making, just tell us about them in the comments or do a Tumblr post and link it here. Do whatever. Let's all learn about the new people. One of the great things about this project has been everyone saying that they'd not heard about these people before and to be honest, I hadn't before I went looking for them. So let's be proactive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, look, yoga attack advert. Shit, the battery's gonna run out, don't run out, don't run out. In this episode, I featured a bunch of music and if you'd like to go and check it out, there'll be links in the description below, down there. They're really fantastic musicians and I'd not done that in any other video of the series, but I kind of wish I had because it, it sounds quite nice, doesn't it? I guess that's it. I'm kind of putting off doing the end of this video, but there we are. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon.